Hi everyone, so I'm coming back with another third party reading. Um, I'm just trying to go about my business, go about my day, and clean my apartment, work on making some of my oracle and tarot decks online, and I cannot stop channeling these crazy ass bitches. <laughs> like, I cannot. I, they keep coming through. There is, if you're in this energy group, if you resonated with my last three third party readings, like, this is for you. Um... <laughs> These karmics are pissed. So what I'm channeling, I'm going to get into it with cards. Um, I am primarily claircognizant and clairsentient. I'm also, I mean, I am clairvoyant and clairaudient as well, but it's like I'm, I'm seeing, I'm just feeling their energy and I keep getting a visual of this third party, this karmic that's like in this room and this bitch is like obsessing over you. Like, she is just obsessing over you. And I just want to say, don't be afraid because these karmics have no real power. These third parties, like, they they really do not have the power. They have this illusion of power because they're loud and they are obnoxious and they try to mimic other people's energies. But these, these third party lower vibrational karmics, these women have no actual power and they know that. They know that um, deep down. And I feel like they're threatened by you. So I just want to say, like, you don't need to be afraid. You don't need to be worried about them. So the thing is, they're obsessive. They are absolutely psychotic and they are obsessive. Um, obsessive was just the word that kept coming to mind. Like, they, they fixate on things and they will not let it go. Like, they will fixate on an idea, on a person, on whatever, and they will just they will keep obsessing. Um, these bitches be crazy. Okay. These bitches be absolutely crazy. But again, like obsession, that's not true power. You know what I mean? It's like, they might be thinking about you or your person just all day long, but there's, there's no actual power there. There's no, this, this isn't like an old soul. This is a very young soul. This is a very immature energy. Um, but I would say still, I would do protection on yourself, do protection on your person, whether it's prayer, meditation, rituals. Again, you have absolutely nothing to worry about. It's like, it, it's like a child throwing a temper tantrum and they are loud and they're obnoxious and they're annoying, but they're still just a child. That's kind of how I feel about like these third party karmic feminines. Like there's, there's just no, there's no genuine power there. It's, it's just, it's just a, a very obnoxious energy, a very obsessive energy, but it's, it's not genuine power. So, um, be mindful though. Like I said, do the protection rituals on yourself, on your person. Um, be mindful of your energy, uh, be, be aware, be very self-aware, be aware of your environment. But, um, yeah, I'm trying not to laugh too much because I just, I just, I was minding my own damn business. I was like, I don't want to do another third party reading even. Like, I want to do another reading. I want to do another reading for people that aren't in this energy group. You know, I want to, I want to get some other storylines. But like, I was just minding my own business. And I just saw this crazy ass bitch. And I just saw her like sitting like on the floor. Um, I feel like she has, um, maybe she has like a, a way that she sits. Like maybe she sits with her, um. Uh, uh, like with her legs crossed, you know, like in like a meditative pose or something, but it's like, I just see her sitting on the floor and it's like, she's just like obsessing over you. She's not even obsessing over the person that she's dating that, you know, if you've been watching the readings, it's like that soulmate that she's trying to keep you guys apart. Um, she's not even obsessing over that. It's like, she's obsessing over you now more than him. Um, oddly enough. So I paused for a minute to channel more of the energy. I, I don't know why I can't stop laughing about it because it's just, it's just so insane. It's just so obsessive. It's like, bitch, like go like, I don't know, like go watch Netflix or like work on an art project or go somewhere, like go out and do something. It's like they're like in their rooms just like obsessing over, like they have this fantasy about what they want to happen to you guys. Um, I don't feel like these karmics are witches. I don't feel like they're, I just don't get the vibe of them being into witchcraft. Honestly, I feel like maybe they do some kind of like meditation or prayer or something of that sort, like visualization. 
But I feel like, so I feel like, yeah, some are, some are putting the intention of something happening to you, but for a lot of them, I feel like it's more like their fantasy. It's, it's more like, this is like, these, these bitches are sick. Like they are violent. That's what I channeled before that they are violent. They probably hide it very well from most people, but I feel like sometimes that side of them, that violent, physically violent side comes out. And so I feel like they have a fantasy about, um, bad things happening either to you or just to, to anyone that they deem as a threat to their connection, uh, with your person, your soulmate, with this masculine, this man, um, like anyone that they see as a threat, it's like they have like these fantasies about bad things happening to them. I'm getting like car accidents and shit like that, like physical violence. Like there's like, they have these really weird fantasies and that's not for everyone in this third party energy group, but I would say this is for like 80% of you. Um, for some, it could just be them simply because I keep getting violence. I keep getting violence for some. It could just be simply like, they're trying to like um visualize you and the person arguing or like you not being around anymore or just something like that it's like it's like their safe space it like that that kind of evil makes their their little heart happy basically um yeah but again they don't really have any true power I think part of why I'm laughing is because it's not really doing anything to you like they have like and again they're really obsessive like this person I don't know if this person has like I don't know if it's like a mental disorder but obsession just keeps coming through where it's one of those things like if this person like has an idea in their head it's like they won't let go of that idea like they will fixate on a certain person on a certain idea like there's some there's some really major mental instability with this person um we're gonna get into it more but yeah, I just keep channeling. I just keep seeing them in this room and it's like, they just want bad things to happen to you. But, it, but again, it's like, I don't feel like it's even affecting you. That's part of why I'm laughing is for this energy group of like lower vibrational third party karmics. I think what, what I, what makes it so funny is like, they're putting all this energy, like this bitch could be today, like be in their, in their room for fucking hours. Um, visualizing all these bad things happen to happening to you. And you're, you're not even like you're so much more spiritually advanced than, than this karmic is. You're so much more spiritually protected than this karmic is that it's, it's not even like doing anything to you. It's like a little ant or something like trying to hurt you. You're just like, what is this? <laughs> like, you might feel the energy of something being off, but it's not actually affecting you negatively. Does that make sense? Like you might feel like someone's trying to send you the evil eye, but it's, it's not actually hurting you in any way. You're just, you have some kind of awareness of it, but it's, but you still know that you're safe. Um, I feel like it could even come back on her as well, honestly, because I feel like she's pissing your spirit guides. You have a lot of powerful spirit guides. She's pissing some spirits off right now by throwing a temper tantrum. And I'm going to get into it. I'm going to tell you what this temper tantrum is about. So, and I keep getting, so again, I primarily channel. I'm not just, you know, talking like this is, I was getting the storyline. I was seeing the visuals. I was feeling the energy. I was feeling her energy. Um, it was coming up strongly, so I couldn't ignore it. But, um... But I keep getting a week. So I feel like with when you see this video, it's either it's either happened a week before post, me posting this video or a week after within that time frame, like within a week of this, whether it's before or after is when this argument is taking place. So, you know, take it as it resonates for some your your soulmate or this could be you you could be the one dealing with the third party karmic so maybe you've already gotten in this argument but someone here there's a masculine here who has already gotten in an argument for this energy group there's a masculine here who's already gotten in an argument with this lower vibrational kind of succubus third party um for others i feel like it's happening within a week of today I actually just got another message too, and I paused to ask the pendulum and confirm, and I got a yes to it. Um, so for some, she's trying so hard to manifest 
you guys getting in an argument, you guys like not talking or you guys hating each other, or she's trying to find, she's trying to manifest or she's trying to like visualize him hating you or him not being attracted to you anymore or something of that sort. And I feel like it could actually affect you a little bit, but your spirit guides are going to take all that energy and they're going to throw it back on her and she's going to get no way worse argument with her than what you got in with him. With him. Does that make sense? So it's like, okay, like these crazy delusional, like lower vibrational third party karmics, like this, these bitches are like visualizing, you know, your downfall, visualizing you having issues with this person. So I feel like it could affect you a little bit where it could make you a little bit more angry than usual. Um, and so you might actually get into like a little bit of a disagreement with this, this soulmate of yours, you know, like you guys might actually, it's not going to be like a big disagreement though. It's not going to be like yelling or anything crazy like that. It might just be like, you know, um, I don't know, like just some kind of disagreement, but it's, it's gonna, it's not going to be like a, a major energy. It's not going to be anything that intense, but, but again, all that energy that she was sending out, it's going to affect you just a tiny bit, possibly at most, maybe not even anything, but at most it's going to be like a small disagreement with your person or, or a little bit of a off energy for a day or so, but not nothing too intense. But again, all that energy is going to be taken from your spirit guides it's like they're going to, I almost see like this energy bubble and it's like it comes at you and it kind of hits you, but then your spirit guides, it's like a little tiny bit of it gets through and affects you and your person and your soulmate, but but your spirit guides take all that energy back and they just throw it at her and it's not going to go well for her. This bitch is going to go down. Um, her own energy is going to be coming back on her. It's, it's not going to be pretty. So... <laughs> Jeez, damn, these bitches be crazy. Uh, hold up. <laughs> so here's the thing. I'm not 100% sure on like the time frame, like this series of events, how it's all going to play out. I'm trying to like think about that because it's like, because I do see her in this room meditating or like just fixating on you guys. But for some, it's like, she may have gotten an argument with this person already and that's why she's like pissed and she wants to blame anybody except for herself. Um, for others, she's just already doing this meditation and that's what's going to lead to this argument. So there's like different ways this could play out. It's not like linear or anything. You know what I mean? It's like there could be multiple arguments as well between them. It's like this could play out in different ways. Um, so take it as it resonates. But what I was picking up from this argument is this man, this man is going to call her the fuck out like he's gonna she's going to do something that's just so psychotic that he's not gonna be able to unsee it he's not gonna be able to forgive it so even if she's done some crazy things in the past um and again the time frame is different for everyone for most of you I think it's within a week for some it could be a little bit longer than that but I honestly don't feel like it's gonna be much longer than that at least if this energy continues the way it's the way it is now I don't you know if this energy stays consistent, I don't think it's going to be much longer than that, honestly. Um, I feel like she's either going to do something like crazier than what she's done in the past. Like if she has a pattern of doing something, she's going to do that, but it's going to be like so much worse than usual. Or she's going to say or do something that like he's just not expecting. Like something that he just didn't even see coming. Like she's going to be like, she's going to throw something at him that like he, well, I mean, it could be physically throwing something at him, honestly, but I'm, I'm more getting like, a this energy of like, she's going to throw something at him in like the sense of, um, this, the sense that just like throwing something out there that he's not expecting, like, like, oh, I spent time in like jail or I spent, or I, um, I like he like she did something like she did I don't know what what is this what is this it's gonna be different for everyone it's gonna be different for everyone why do I keep getting pe pedophilia for somebody that's so weird that's only for like one person on here that's not for most of you that's just there's you know there's little side messages that come through once in a while for specific people in this energy group 
But yeah, it's like she's going to do something psychotic. It could just be worse than what she usually does. Um, or for some, like I said, I feel like it could be something that's like really just unexpected. He's like, oh, hell no. Like, why would you say that? Like, why would you like, where did that come from? Like, she's going to say something that's going to it, it's like he's almost going to be a little bit like afraid of her. Like there's something there's just some kind of red flag here and he's going to see it. He's already seeing the red flags, but I feel like they're going to get a lot worse. Um, what is this energy? Yeah. So right now, yeah. So here's the thing right now. She's trying to pretend to be someone that she's not to keep him. She's trying to pre pretend to be stable to keep him. She's trying to pretend to be his dream girl to keep him. Knight of Pentacles is someone who's loyal, stable, grounded. It's a very slow moving energy. She's trying to be strong. She's trying to just be neutral. Four of Cups is like boredom. It's it's being it's like it's like she's she's bored, like bored, numb, feeling rejected, feeling she needs drama in her life. She she is the drama. She is dramatic. But she also just needs drama in her life. She doesn't know what to do when things are too normal. So she's also recognizing that she's really not what he wants. He's he's not in love with her. He's never going to be in love with her. Like he's he's really seeing through her. He's seeing the red flags and he's finally accepting that those are red flags and that the, he cannot repaint those red flags. But I feel like she's getting bored with p this fake image. Again, it's like she's trying her best. She's trying to be on her best behavior. She's trying to um, she's trying to present this very false image, of this very um, I think he's seeing through it. I think he's starting to realize how fake it is. I, I think he's starting to realize how fake it is. It's like she's presenting this image of like just being someone that she's not to try to keep him, to try to keep him interested. Um, and I think, I think that she's getting caught in lies for some. It's like there's something about this image where it's just so obvious that she's faking it and he's really like seeing through her and he's like, mm, like I... <laughs> Like this, this isn't genuine. You're not a genuinely stable, balanced person. You're, you're a psycho and you're doing your best to pretend not to be a psycho for me. Um, and I think she's also feeling rejected because she's like, why can't I just be a fucking crazy ass bitch all the time and have you love me anyway? Like that's, that's like her mentality, her her, she has like this victim mentality. Her, her way of thinking is just so fucking twisted. Like she doesn't understand like him, him wanting something stable, him wanting something secure, him wanting just peace, just to have peace in his life. She's not understanding it. She's um, pretending like she understands it. And I think he's very well aware that she is pretending like she under, like he, it's like when they, they have these conversations, they're obviously not on the same page, but she fakes it and he knows that she's faking it, but he doesn't necessarily say anything. He just kind of lets her fake it and he's just kind of watching her and seeing how it plays out. But he knows it, it's like you can wear makeup, but you can't hide crazy, you know, <laughs> like you, you. Oh, my God. Um, I just get such a fake energy. But anyway, I feel like she's feeling rejected because she's like. Why don't you just love me at my worst all the time? Like, why can't I just constantly be psychotic and and obnoxious and, uh, you know, obsessive and all these like toxic things? Like, why isn't it okay for me to just be all these toxic things all the time and not actually work on myself and not be better for you? Like, she's so selfish that she doesn't get it. She doesn't get Again, she doesn't get his perspective. She doesn't understand his mentality, but she's trying to pretend like she understands where he's coming from to, to keep him happy because she doesn't want to lose him. Um, yeah, she feels rejected, though. She feels she feels rejected. She's like. She feels bored with pretending to be this stable person when she's not actually a stable person at all. She's a fucking psycho. Um, 
But yeah, she also feels like he's like rejecting her. Like she, like he should just accept her being that way all the fucking time. And, and like if he doesn't, then you know he must not really care about her. Like she's so just her mindset, her victim mentality is just absolutely insane. What I'm feeling is she's gonna get bored with it. again. She's getting bored with this, so she's gonna come forward, page of stories with some. She, she's gonna do something she's gonna act out she's gonna fucking act out especially because she's had to hold it back lately she's had to suppress her her normal psychotic behavior and psychotic energy lately and so I think she's just gonna like explode on him when it's gonna it's gonna she's it's like there's a thought process that I'm feeling is like building up in her head like this insecurity it's like she's going on and on in her head like like, obviously, he doesn't accept me if he won't deal with me being a psycho all the time. Like, just a really weird mentality to have. Because um, I feel like it's not like she fucked up once or twice with this man. She fucked up multiple times. Like, this, like, she has, it's not one red flag or two red flags. She's probably shown this man, like, a dozen red flags or more. She has shown him, like, red flag after red flag after red flag. Uh, but yeah, like it's building up, the tension's building up. There's, there's this thought process, this thought pattern she has. She's going to explode on him. She's going to explode on him. <laughs> and he's going to move things forward. He's going to leave her behind. He wants to move things from rough waters to calmer waters. He's leaving this, this crazy ass behind. <laughs> he's like no he's like no more bitch no more <laughs> I've seen enough thanks <laughs> thanks thanks for the opportunity bye <laughs> I feel no I don't feel bad laughing actually because these bitches are crazy I feel like he's also gonna have a newfound like I just channeled this too I paused for a second because I was feeling it um I, I feel like he's also going to have a newfound appreciation for your energy. Like if you have like you're honest, you have integrity, you might be straightforward, you might be outspoken, you're confident. Um, so you might like go to him and like you might say certain things. <clears throat> like you might be blunt with him sometimes, but you're not dramatic about it. You know what I mean? Like you might be outspoken or you're honest, but you're not like super dramatic and psychotic about it. Like, you're just real with him. Like, you you, you know what I mean? Like, you, and some, some of you aren't. Some of you are, are not, you know, some of you are, are, are holding back and you're not wanting to say anything. You're not saying anything or you're waiting for him to come to you or whatever. But some of you are actually going forward and you're like saying something like you're 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 speaking your truth. You're being honest with him. You're having integrity. You're you're addressing the issues. You're you're being forward about your wants and needs for some of you. And I feel like maybe in the past, like he was intimidated by shit like that. But I think comparing you to, to this psycho, I think he's going to be like, wait a minute, that's what I want. I want someone who's outspoken and honest and a little bit, you know, blunt and, you know, straightforward. Um, I don't want someone who's, you know, fucking psychotic and they they just explode all the time. Like they just, or they suppress everything and then they just explode on me and there there's arguments and they're yelling at me instead of just speaking their truth. You know what I mean? Like he's going to understand like your confidence, your, your genuine energy. He's going to start understanding that energy difference between being honest and outspoken and, and, and needing to say what you feel and wanting to have deep, open, honest conversations. He's going to understand the energy difference between that and a bitch who just, is just selfish and just all about, you know, her wants, her needs just constantly like explodes on him um, at like the worst times too, or she just makes everything about herself or she just is constantly like causing drama or constantly like, like she's not taking accountability. She's not working on her shadow side. She's not working on her traumas. She's using her traumas as an excuse to basically be mentally and emotionally abusive with him. Cause a real woman is going to, is still going to be honest. She's still going to, she's still going to be assertive. But again, the approach is just so drastically different. You know what I mean? It's the difference between going up to, to this person, like to t having a conversation with this person and be like, Hey, like, can we talk like you did this? And this was upsetting for me. 
Um, this is how I feel about it. I want to work on myself. Like I want, you know, this was a trigger for me. I hope you can work on it too. I want us to, to communicate openly. Like a real woman, if she's upset, it's like she will still hold herself accountable. She'll still be mindful of, of even if she's blunt, she's still going to, um, even if she's speaking her truth, it's like she's still not going to just how do I explain it? It's just a different energy with her though, with this, with this crazy ass bitch, it's like, if she's upset, there is no, there is no like, Hey, can we talk and have an honest conversation? Like, let's figure things out. There's, it's more the energy of just her flipping out out of fucking nowhere. Like you did this and this and this and this and this, like you just like being fucking psychotic, just like, like this pissed me off and this pissed me off and how dare you like making it a personal attack so like he gets defensive and he's like what the like what <laughs> what <laughs> or this could be the conversation that's coming in honestly but yeah it's like I just get this energy of him having a newfound appreciation for your honesty your assertiveness your your straightforward energy he might have been intimidated by it before but he's gonna like He's going to be like, okay, wait a minute, that I, I saw the other end of that. I saw how someone can be assertive in like the most toxic fucking ways or they can be forward in the most toxic ways. And I would much prefer a woman that's forward in a, you know, balancing compassion and empathy and that gentle energy out with um, with speaking your truth at the same time and, and having these these open conversations. But um, anyway, sorry, what I was getting what I was getting is, is I feel like, yeah, she's going to do something fucking psychotic. She's going to do something crazy. She's going to do or say something crazy or something is going to be revealed to her. And I feel like this man is going to call her out. Like this man is going to call her out so bad. Like he is going to, he might even feel a little bit bad afterwards because he's going to call her out so much, <laughs> but he's going to, it's divinely led. His spirit guides are pushing him to end this karmic cycle with dating crazy ass bitches like this his spirit guides are pushing him to take the blindfold off and see both the red flags in people and also see the green flags in, in people you know like see what's around you be mindful of what's around you be mindful of the energy don't just be in your own little world actually be aware of other people in your environment you know be aware of what's going on in your environment um, don't just see what you want to see. So this is a karmic cycle for him. This is a karmic lesson for him. So I so I feel like it, it's almost like he's just going to be taking his power back. It's almost like everything he's gone through with women in the past, it's all going to come down to this moment. And he's just going to, he's going to really like put this fucking crazy ass in her place. Honestly, he's going to put this bitch in her place so bad. Again, it's divinely led because I keep I keep seeing him like say some really harsh things to her. Like he's gonna he's he's gonna say some shit. And I feel like she's gonna be really upset by it. But I feel again, I feel like it's like divinely led. Like his spirit guides are pushing him. He's like, they're like his spirit guides are like, you need to end this cycle. Like you need to stand up for yourself. You need to stop playing with people like this. You need to stop getting involved in these lower vibrational karmic energies. Like you need to speak your truth. You need to stand up for yourself. You need to have integrity and honest, honesty. You need to get on your spiritual path. You need to stop fucking around with this, these kind of bitches. Like, um, so, I mean, he might feel a little bit of guilt, but I feel like it's justified. But I think he's going to make it clear to her that he's like, whatever she's she does, he's going to make it clear that he's not going to Again, it's not like a little disagreement. It's not like a little like, oh, they said some shit to each other. It's, it's going to be like a full-blown argument, like screaming at each other or she's going to throw something or something really horrible is going to be revealed about her to him. Um, something incredibly toxic that she did and she's going to confirm it to him if he asks her about it. Uh, could even be her getting caught lying or cheating or something like that. It's going to play out differently, but it's major. Basically, what I'm letting you know is this is no this is no small argument. This is not like a miscommunication. This is this is like a full blown fucking chaotic, dramatic night that they're going to have. Honestly, it's not going to be good for them. Um, but what I'm getting is this energy of her after this argument 
she's going to so so he's going to make it clear that he's done whatever she does whatever she gets caught up in he's going to make it damn clear that he is just that he, he that he does not want anything to do with her he might block her he might he might like he's going to be like we are over i don't give a fuck what you do after that that was too insane that was too much drama for me that was that was the final straw. That was too, whatever you did, that was too fucking much. I've given you chance after chance. Like that's, that's it. I'm done. I'm out. He's going to, she's going to, it's going to be made clear to her that, that he does not want her anymore. But I feel like this, I feel like with these karmics, I feel like they, um, again, they don't have a lot of emotional depth. They don't have a lot of emotional depth. They have a lot of trauma. They might have, they, they might have, um, trauma bonded to some degree but there's not a lot of emotional depth there basically and I never understand the term like trauma bonding because I feel like people's traumas are part of who they are um that's you know what I mean like that's part of you have to love someone's darkness as much as you love their light you have to love all aspects of a person if you're going to truly love someone but with her it's like there's not the lighter side it's just like I feel like she just has these traumas and like maybe he's been thinking that that means that she has emotional depth, but it, it doesn't like she doesn't, you know what I mean? Like, like she, she has these traumas, but she uses it as like an excuse to be toxic. You know, I'm, I'm getting, I'm just getting someone that like just does not take accountability. Like they just do not, um, like a very fake cutesy energy where she thinks that she can get away with a lot of shit because she thinks that she's really cute. Um, just a very, very fake, very low vibrational kind of succubus type spirit is what I'm feeling here. But I just, I feel like these bitches are like delusional too, because I, I feel like when this man calls her out, like, I feel like it's going to be harsh. He's going to be like, dude, you need to look in the fucking mirror. Like you are insane. Like that, what you did, what you've done is insane. Like you need to check yourself. You need to check yourself before you wreck yourself. That's what I'm getting. Oh my God. I'm a fucking dork. I know I'm super dorky. I'm sorry, guys. Thank you for dealing with it. Anyway, anyway. Um, where was I going with that? <laughs> yeah. He's like, I feel like he's going to tell her to take a look in the mirror. He's going to be like, you need to look in the fucking mirror. You need to like, like, cause she's trying to blame other women. She's trying to blame other people. She's trying to blame her parents. Like, she's not committed to changing. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like she, like, when they have these conversations, she's like, well, my parents did this and this and this to me. And that's why I'm like this. And it's one thing to talk about your traumas and be open and be like, hey, I went through this and it's made me this way so you can understand it. But I am working on this. That's that's different. There, but with her, there's no accountability. It's like, oh, I'm this way because my parents did this to me. So I'm going to be like this forever. You know, it's like that kind of energy. Or, like, constantly blaming other women. I feel like when she acts out, she likes to blame other women for it. Or she likes to blame other people around her. Like, oh, this person triggered me. Or this person, um, I was jealous of this of this other person. Or I was jealous of this woman. and Or, like, she likes to blame him for it. Like, she likes to, she doesn't ever like to have to, like, blame herself. So, it's just that delusional energy I get. Because I feel like she's... Again, she's going to do something so insane that there's just no coming back from it. It's unforgivable. It could be physical violence, honestly, for some. It could actually be physical violence. Because I keep getting that she has a violent side that he hasn't seen or he hasn't fully seen yet, at least. But he's going to see it. Um, damn. It's not for everyone, though. That's not for everyone. It's not violence for everybody. It's going to be different how it plays out. But, uh... But it's just the, the delusional energy. I think that's part of why I keep laughing too because it's just so insane because it's like she's going to do this thing, this really fucking crazy thing, and then he's going to call her out. They're going to get in a really bad argument. He's going to – that's what the argument's going to be about. He's going to call her out. He's going to be like, oh, hell no. Like that was too much for me. That was too much drama. Like you – I'm done. I'm out. I don't want anything to do with you. Um, maybe blocking her. He's just going to be like, I'm getting the fuck out of here. I've seen enough. Bye, bitch. Bye, Felicia. Fair be well, Felicia. And the the crazy thing is she's not going to see that it's her. Like, she's not going to apologize for what she did. 
<laughs> she's not going to genuinely apologize for what she did. She's going to say that she was triggered or she's going to say she did it because of him or she's going to say like, cause, cause with this energy building up where she's tired of having to like suppress her craziness for him, it's all the craziness is just going to come out at once. And she's just going to be like, she, she's basically what she's going to say to him is why can't I just be a psycho around you all the time? She's probably not going to word it like that. She'll probably just be like, well, I couldn't be my true self around you. And I, I like, I couldn't be as I couldn't like be in, as insane as I wanted to be. So, or, or she's going to say like, oh, like this other woman triggered her or like she was jealous or she's going to blame other people. She might kind of apologize, like half-ass apologize, like, oh yeah, I guess I could have done better, but she's going to feel it's justified. She's not only going to do something psychotic, but she's actually going to feel justified in doing whatever this fucking psychotic thing is. For some, it could be going through his social media and like messaging people on his account. Like he might notice that this woman tries to go through his phone like, if he leaves his phone out around her, like, he might notice her, like, trying to look at his phone or trying to take his phone or some, something like that, too, is kind of what I'm feeling here. It ain't good. Um, yeah, that's, like, a whole nother level of crazy. Everyone's got, like, their trust issues and their damage, but, like, this, these bitches, that's, that's, that's a whole nother level of psychotic. Um, but, yeah, anyway, sorry, what I was saying is, like, okay, so... That, yeah, just the crazy delusional thing is just how she's going to feel justified in doing this. This insane thing that she's going to do, she's going to feel justified. Like, if she tries to, like, take his phone, she's going to be like, well, you've been making me jealous, so I had to do it. I had to, like, message that person on your, on your phone. Or I had to, like, you know, go on your social media and, like, go through your shit. I had to find out what was going on. Like, she's going to try to, like, justify doing something fucking crazy. And he's going to be like, no, like, no, bitch, that's not, that's not a normal thing to do. Like, you don't go through my phone. That's, that's nuts. Um, but yeah, she's going to feel like she's in the right. She might apologize to try to get him back to like, but to a degree, it's going to be a half ass apology, not a genuine apology. And he's going to feel that. But, um, but yeah, I just, anyway, the delusional energy I get is just when I see her like meditating on this purse, like his actual true love, his actual soulmate that he's going towards, um, I just see, I see the psycho blaming her for that. I see this like, like after doing something crazy, she's not going to be like, oh, maybe he left because I kept showing him like red flag after red flag after red flag. She's going to be like, oh, this other girl stole him from me. Or these, these people in his life, like talk shit about me and, and, um, they put bad ideas in his head or they lied to him about me or, um, or, uh, <laughs> Like these, these people, I don't know, like she's just going to play the victim somehow and she's going to blame other people. Like she's straight up not going to take accountability. She's not going to look in the mirror. She's not going to change herself. She's just, she's going to think that it's so delusional. It's like, she's going to think that she, that she had nothing to do with their breakup. She's going to, she's going to think she was justified in being crazy. Um, and she's going to, she's going to, she's not going to want to like, focus on him because I feel like whatever he's going to say to her is going to hurt her so much that she's just going to shut down and just be like, okay, fuck him then. But, um, but he needs to say that to get out to like, make sure that she knows, like, stay away from me. Like, bitch, you know, just get away. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. What else? So all that energy, all that emotion is going to be like projected onto you. Like she's going to focus on you. She's going to be like, oh, she stole him from me. It was, it was nothing I did wrong. It was just this other woman stole him from me. Um, wow. He's ended a karmic cycle by doing this, though, by by speaking his truth, by standing up for himself. He's ended a karmic cycle with her. And he has a new passionate beginning elsewhere with an empress, with an actual empress, not with one of these little... He's, he's going to recognize his actual empress, his actual true love. This is all four queens combined, the lovers. He's making a choice. 
He's going, yeah, he's ending karmic cycles so that he can go towards his actual true love. He's done with the crazy bitches. He's done with the, um, the type of women that just go through his phone, the type of women that are always insecure and just constantly aggressive and constantly, um, causing drama in his life and wanting to isolate him i feel like too i am getting the vibe that she kind of tried to treat him like property she tried to kind of almost treat him like a possession like i think she tried to be cutesy with him and treat him like she owned him and i think that was one of those things that set him off and he was like oh i don't think so like no 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 <laughs> Yeah, he's going to be a little bit upset by this, but I think he's going to move on from it fairly quickly. He might take some time apart just to like rest and just heal and recover from that. But I don't think that he's going to let this mess him up. Like, I don't think he's not going to get in his head and just be like, fuck women, fuck everybody. Like, you know, bitches just be crazy. Like, I think he's going to be tempted to get in that devil energy, in that mentality of you know, it's a killer be killed world. Everyone's toxic. I got to just look out for me. I got to look out for number one. Like he's going to be tempted to get in that mentality or to like play people the way he's been played, but he's not going to. I think his higher self is going to come through and he's going to be like, no, fuck that. Like that psycho is not worth it. I'm, I'm not going to lose myself to that energy. I'm going to be true to myself. So he's going to process this heartbreak in a good way and he's going to have a... a a new start elsewhere. He's not going to go back to old patterns or old ways of thinking. He's not going to allow that. He he knows that he is, he's spiritually awakening basically is what I'm feeling. He's getting on his spiritual path and he's going to commit to that spiritual path. He's not going to let some low vibrational little child like this get him off track. Yeah, there's success with this empress, this high priestess, his his true soulmate. Very spiritual woman, very powerful woman. Why are the nine of cups reversed? King of cups. Justice, justice, yeah. He's going to understand that he wasn't giving. So for some, you are this man, but for others, you're this man's soulmate. You're this high priestess, this empress, this very powerful, very loving woman. He's going to have this new understanding Again, there's something about like what she's going to do that's going to make him appreciate your energy more. Like I was saying, it's like you're honest, you're assertive, you're powerful, you're intuitive. Seeing like the devil side of that ass of assertiveness or like what happens if someone's not assertive and they like just explode, like seeing the drama with that other karmic, that's going to make him recognize like you're worth more. He's going to appreciate your energy. Things that he didn't appreciate or didn't understand about who you are or didn't understand about your energy before, he's going to see you in like a different light. He's going to appreciate those things about your energy. He's going to be like, damn, okay, well, she is really honest. This high priestess is really honest. She is really assertive, but oh my God, that's like a million times better than someone expressing themselves in a consistently dramatic way or consistently being jealous or competitive or controlling. He's like, I would much rather have these honest, open heart to heart talks and be more. It's like you're showing him like a new way of being, a new way of feeling, a new way of doing things. You're like kind of paving like you're 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 guiding him. You're the high priestess. You're guiding him. There is success here with the six of wands. Nine of cups reversed. I, I think that. um God, this fucking reading ended up being so long. I try to, I try to come on here and do these short readings, and I can't because I just ramble. Oh my god, I gotta do a shorter reading for you guys. I wonder if anyone's even watched all four of these third party readings for fuck's sakes. <laughs> anyway. And I think with you too, like if you do have, like you're the high priestess, but like if you do have an off night, like if you do have an off night where you're like upset or you cry about something, I feel like you still take accountability. You're still like, hey, I felt this way. Like I, 
you know what I mean? Like you're honest, you're open about it. You're, you're not, you don't blame anybody else for it. You don't, you know what I mean? Like you don't like, you're not constantly like you, you try to understand other people and you try to understand yourself there as well as you possibly can. So it's like, if you do get caught up in like a victim mentality, I feel like you quickly get yourself out of it. And like, you see other perspectives. This karmic is not capable of seeing other perspectives. She's far too selfish for that. Um, she might piss off some other women in his life too. She might piss off some other women that are like, oh, fuck no, bitch. Like she might do some shit. And if, if they find out, they're going to fuck her up. <laughs> they're going to fuck her ass up. Oh my God. Okay. Anyway, anyway, um, yeah, I think this man is also going to realize that like there is true success with you and he's going to understand why there wasn't wish fulfillment with you in the past. Like he he's going to understand that he does need to come at you in more of a king of cups energy. Like he needs to be more in touch with his emotions, more open, more honest with you. He's got to match your energy more. He's got to match your level of effort more. Um, if he's willing to be the king of cups, if he's willing to embody the king of cups energy, if he's willing to be honest and open, if he's willing to be gentle with this high priestess, if he's willing to be his true self, not, um, not ignore this romantic, intuitive, emotional side of himself, if he's actually willing to be his true king of cups self, if he's willing to embrace his emotions and and get on a better path, a more spiritual, a more, a, a more spiritual path, a more um, emotional, passionate path, like just being more real, being more authentic. If he's willing to do these things, if he's willing to come forward honestly with open, honest communication with you, there is justice between the two of you. There is, you guys both have justice for, you know, things you've been through in the past. Like there's, yeah, there's a transformation taking place here. There's a big transformation taking place here. You guys are going to be studying each other and really, yeah, Eight of Pentacles, the Magician, Knight of Cups. I'm actually getting that you might be studying the occult together. That's a, that's a message for some of you. You might actually be studying like manifestation or the occult or maybe even like doing magic together. Like you're going to be very powerful together. But for others, I just feel like you're going to be studying together just in general. Like you're going to be studying each other. You're going to take the time to really know each other. And I'm getting this energy. There's like this magic that comes into play. It's like almost like these epiphanies you two are going to have when you study each other. So when you observe each other, when you're feeling each other's energy, it's like you're going to have... Um, like you're going to feel like they're magic and they're going to feel like you're magic. It's like you're both going to see each other as just these magical beings. Like there's, there might be like soul recognition, like past life recognition, like just this, like something, I don't know how to explain this energy I'm feeling, like what I'm channeling off this. Tell me, tell me more about this because someone's going through a transformation. Someone's going through a spiritual awakening. It's going to be a really beautiful thing. Like this is going to bring this person money, abundance, love, like everything they could have ever wanted and they're going to deserve it. They're going to be, they're going to, if they have any, you know, karma to work through, they're going to work through it. Like they're going to be shown their spirit guides are telling them, Hey, don't be scared of this. Cause you deserve this. You're ready for this. Don't, don't play it small anymore. You're ready for this. You're ready for this psychic awakening. You're ready for this transformation. And I feel like this man is actually going to listen to his spirit guides. He's going to be like, you know what? I, I might not feel ready, but I know I'm ready. And I'm going to take that leap of faith. And it's going to pay off so well for him. It's going to pay off so much for him to go through this transformation, for him to be the man that he wants to be. It's going to pay off in every area of his life. It's just beautiful. I'm getting a really emotional energy like this, just this breakthrough that's going to come in for this man. But yeah, there's something about this too, where it's like, I see you guys studying each other, like observing each other, um, maybe reading up on each other. It's like, you're finding out more about each other. And it's, it's like, there's this magic that comes into play because of that. You're going to, it's, it's like these synchronicities. It, it's like the world is going to become magical again because of this connection. Like there's something about this connection that's just very magical and it's going to help both of you open your heart, Knight of Cups. You guys are both opening your heart to each other. Yeah, there's this hidden energy of, um... Because this can be past life, this can be childhood, but it's also past lives.
There's this hidden past life energy at play. Okay, I might have to get into that later because that's like a whole nother. Why nine of swords? Temperance. There might have been some shit that went down between you guys in a past life. I'm like the most fucking unprofessional tarot reader. Like there was some shit that went down between you guys. Um, no, but really, there might have been some shit that went down between you guys in a past life that's been hidden. Um, but I feel like you guys are going to work through that anxiety and you're going to, there's temperance energy. Like you're going to balance that energy out. Like you're making a judgment call. Like you might have really hurt this person in a past life and it might've made them in this life. They might've been afraid to trust you because of what happened in that past life. But I feel like you guys or vice versa. Maybe both of you hurt each other in a past life, but I feel like this life, you guys are going to balance that energy out and you're going to have 10 of pentacles together, abundance, success legacy that like that reading we just did why the five of wands yeah you're gonna go from like not talking or not seeing eye to eye to suddenly like working and building together you're gonna recognize it's like you're both gonna be having these like spiritual epiphanies maybe even having dreams or visions about each other it's like there's gonna be just this magical energy like this synchronicity like just these, like this, your spirit guides are like leading you together. Like they're keeping you together. And it's like, I don't know, like, I feel like the world is just about to become very exciting and passionate and magical again for both of you. Like you guys are both going through similar things possibly at the same time too. And it's like, it's, it's going to get, it's going to get exciting again. Four of wands is, is peace, harmony. Like you guys are both going to recognize that you can have this together. This 10 of pentacles, this 10 of cups, this true love, this abundance, and I think you're both going to be like, let's stop with this five of wands energy. Let's stop with the whatever it is, miscommunication or, you know, petty arguments or silence. You guys are both going to be like, wait a minute, there's let's let's listen to our intuition. Let's let's listen to our emotions. Let's listen to um, our spirit guides. Let's listen to let's like let's there's like there's just this magic. I just keep getting this like magical energy. You guys are both going to be like, let's build, let's build past us. Let's, let's fuck this energy, this five of wands, like three of pentacles. Let's build together and have this peaceful, stable foundation together. Let's work through all this together. You guys are getting on the same page because you're both recognizing. God, it's like, it's more than just recognizing that there's a connection here. It's like, you're both recognizing that you're soulmates. Like you're both recognizing that like, this is, um, could be like a past life connection. Like you could, you guys might both have like past life memories comes up, come up or you both have dreams. I'm just getting this like with the magician and like this, the high priestess and everything that came out. I'm just getting like, it's, it's, it's more than just your average awareness, you know, because sometimes we have like, you know, soul recognition where you feel like you've known someone before you feel at home with them, but it's like so much deeper than that. It's like, you guys are going to become like, I don't even know how to explain it. I just keep getting like magic. Like there's something about like magic. Like you guys are going to like the synchronicities are going to start being just unreal. Like you guys are going to be like, like you have a dream about each other on the same night, <laughs> you know, like you have the same dream, like you're like astral traveling together or you like, I don't know, like you watch a movie and then like you you talk to them and they're like, oh, I watched that movie last night too, or that's my favorite movie or something like that. It's like the synchronicities are like going to be in your face, both of you. And it's just going to make both of you kind of believe in like in love, in, in life again, in your spirit guides and the universe. It's like there's going to be like this new, just this new sense of like passion, like this newfound trust in the universe if you guys both choose to go down this path, this spiritual path, like there's a lot of really good things in store for you. This person's going, you're both going to become more psychic, honestly, is what I'm feeling. You're both going to become more psychic together. Like you're going to be, there's something you're doing together, like manifestation, magic, um, just like major power couple vibes is what I'm getting or like dreaming or studying together there's like there's so much that's coming into play for you guys it's really interesting but we'll get more into that later I think um let me know if you guys want to hear more about that actually because I I could that I should probably try to do a reading that's not third party based and that's not like a fucking hour long because I know not all of you want to watch these hour long readings <laughs> but um anyway I'm gonna put this out thank you guys for watching thank you guys for your comments and your support I really appreciate it